Hello guys, welcome back to another Homer tutorial. Today we're going to be working using the Torty foil from Home of Nail Art and we're going to be doing two different methods with two different end results. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So if you were using this on your client's hand you would start off with base coat but because we're working on a tip today we're going to go straight in with our Get Tacky foil glue. So I'm just applying a really thin coat of this all over the nail tip and then once I'm happy that it's all covered I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And whilst that's curing we can have a little look at our foil. So one side is really shiny and pigmented and the other side is a little bit duller. The dull side is what will be placed on top of the nail tip and that will allow us to transfer the pattern onto the nail. The first method we're working on is a dabbing method, so rather than transferring the whole of the foil onto the nail in one go, we're going to pick parts that we want to apply onto the nail and remove it and reapply it until we get the desired effect. Now this method is the easier method just because we're not relying on one seamless transfer but it does leave cracks and gaps that we need to fill in later. It does also allow us to have more control over what colour is on the actual nail as well. Using our square gel brush I'm going to go in with the beautiful amber colour detail paint and I'm going to do one thin seamless coat all over the nail plate and I'm going to leave this completely uncured ready for our next step. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna go in with my black detail paint and a liner brush, and I'm gonna move the black paint through the wet detail paint that we put on before to fill in any of the gaps and cracks. And then once I'm happy and I've moved the paint around as much as I want to, I can pop that into the lamp to cure and then finish with our high shine top coat. And that is as simple as that. So I've cured the top coat for 60 seconds and this is what we have. We've got a really pretty effective look without any of the lumps and bumps you get when you're doing it all by hand. Okay, moving on to our next method, we're starting off exactly the same as before and applying a thin layer of the Get Tacky Foil Glue. And I'm going to do one seamless transfer this time. So I'm kind of stretching out the foil slightly and then placing it on top of the nail. And then I'm going to get a dry, lint-free wipe and rub the whole nail plate to ensure that every area gets the full transfer. Disclosure, foil definitely has a little bit of a knack to it and you might not get it right first time. I'm basing all of my timings on the Hona cordless cube and your lamp could differ for the foil glue as well. So it's worth playing around with timings. But definitely don't give up, keep trying. It's really easy to remove it and try again. Even though I'm doing the seamless method here, I was still left with a couple of gaps which is more than likely going to happen since it's such a dark pigmented foil and it's quite easy to tell when there is a gap. So I've gone straight in with the same method as before using the Torty detail paint and the black detail paint just to fill in any gaps and add a little bit more dimension. Once you've finished adding your detail paint, you can cure, top coat and cure again, and this is what you're left with. So on the left hand side we've got the seamless method, and on the right hand side we've got the dabbing method. As you can see as well, there's no lumps and bumps using the foil, you get a really nice smooth finish. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks guys, bye!